I pray that you're successful in life. And more than that, I pray that you know it and that you are in a realm of well-being because of that success. How do you define success? Every woman, every man defines it differently. You'd be surprised. So it is important that you define it right. Do you see, for instance, uh, an accumulation of material possessions or possibly the praise of, of your fellow human beings as a sense of success? If so, it's time to take a second look. Genuine success has little to do with fame or fortune. It has everything to do with that sense that you have inside of yourself all the time of God's love and God's promise of continuous help. If you have welcomed God into your heart, you are already a towering success in life. But there's more that you can do. Remember that life always has a hidden curriculum. Some of the most successful people in the world are not the people that live on the mountaintop. They're the people that live in the valley that are truly happy that are truly one with their sense of God and that they have everything they need when they need it. As a person who has received God's grace, your next step is to stand firm in faithfulness and lay hold of a spiritual abundance and peace. God offers that to all. It's one of God's promises. And then you can share the healing message of God's love with your own thoughts and your own soul and the hope that God promises in a mind that desperately needs hope. And when you do, you're going to find the success of the sweetness of, of a knowing without a doubt that God is with you every moment. We must allow God to define our success. And when we do, God blesses us with God's love and God's grace. In Isaiah 7, verse 9, it says, If you do not stand firm in your faith, then you will not stand at all. Well, I pray that you know real success in life, that you find it inside of yourself, that you find that satisfied feeling that everything could not be better feeling. And I pray that that starts to come to you this day.